Hey guys, how's everybody doing tonight? I um, hope y'all are doing well. So, I, so here's the plan for the stream today. I actually wrote it down so I would not forget. So it is official that um, Star Wars will be moving to a different company, but it's not a bad thing. As I found out it's the same people that make Dragon Age and Mass Effect, so I have high hopes. Alright, so we're going to knock out Showdown Wake. Um, so definitely want to make sure I do that. Um, don't think we're going to do Old Wounds yet, but we will be doing that tonight. So you guys can look forward to that. So we're probably going to do some veteran, um, veteran Flash Points and... Uh, veteran uprisings so you guys can look forward to that and I hope everybody's having a good weekday happy Wednesday and all that good jazz my dog has been terrorizing me because he knows he can get away with it so that's been a thing now this the um cheating algorithm for some reason is bugged on the republic side i already submitted a ticket about it but it doesn't change the fact you guys might be hearing some of my guildmates hop in um later on in the stream because we're gonna run some stuff together like i said you guys are more than welcome to join me uh work has been pretty boring if i'm being honest um i don't really have anything really going on with work still waiting to find out about okay what's this hey there always an honor when i can get some time from someone as busy as you i'm glad we got in touch because i got a favor to ask Had a cold on the run again. It's all hands on deck. That means I've got to go where Mandalore wants me. Otherwise, I'd handle this myself. My friend Lane is back on Ruinus. Mandalore's got her chasing down all the hidden chain riffraff that stayed behind. You and I both know that getting anything done on that dust ball is a challenge, and Lane doesn't have a lot of resources. But Lane would never ask for help, especially from someone like you. She's about as stubborn as Mandalore, my friend in their family. In fact, she'll probably kill me for asking you to back her up, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. So, what do you say? How do you feel about cleaning up some of Hedda's garbage? I didn't expect to hear anything less. Thank you. One more thing. Last time I was on Lane's bad side, she put adhesive spray in my jetpack's exhaust vanes. It took me weeks to get it out. What I'm saying is, it'd be great if you didn't tell Lane it was me who sent you. Anyway... I appreciate you hearing me out on this. See you around. So, he's what he's saying is that we should tell her. Ooh, there's a lot of heroics to do here. Oh, a lot of missions anyway. So we might, we might tag those because it looked like it'd be I fun. Trying to, oh, you're gonna love this. Nice of you. trying to boost my um, nice of you. reputation with um, some of the factions in here. As requested. So we might be doing that. I'm pressing on it for private. Okay. All right. So we can go ahead and start the shadows wake. I don't think that would be too difficult so we'll go ahead and knock that out and look who it is shouldn't you be off with Shay planning her next move against the traitor I like her armor well you might want to temper your expectations Shay's stuck in his cleanup duty thought you might be above that 
You're pretty chummy with my cousin. She tell you what I'm doing? Distant cousin. Not that it matters. I don't want people thinking I do things in half measures. Or get special treatment, just because Mandalore and I share blood. Yeah, that's the short of it. The showdown between Shay and Hedda got pretty chaotic. When it was over, a lot of the hidden chain dogs ran off after their master. Shay and the Arbiter, mostly the Arbiter, withdrew all of our people from Runic too. Then, we got word that some of Hedda's soldiers stuck around. They're not big enough for an army, but there's enough that they could clear the way for Hedda to come back. My job is to keep that from happening. I don't want to just round up some traitors and be done with it. We've been watching them. They're looking for something. I want to find out what it is. No, we can't. Don't know why the traders picked this rock in the first place. Can't imagine there'd be much left that we haven't blown to bits. But that's what I want you to look into for me. I've got a couple of places I want you to sweep. Look for schematics, data readouts, anything that can tell me why they came here and why they've stayed. I've got to stay back. I'm working on something that I can't get away from. But something tells me that's not going to make much of a difference. Once you've got enough information to start putting the pieces together, let me know. All right. Let's do it. You were wise to send me. Okay. I'm also working on some of the crafting that I have in the game. I'm trying to make some money. That is um one thing that I'm trying to do. Let's see. Where am I supposed to be going? I think I'm supposed to be taking the elevator. I think so anyway. Stay focused on the task at hand. Alright. Ready for departure. So I, I am trying to understand everything that Hedda Cole is after. So I think I have the gist of it. But there's still some things that are a mystery. And I think the thing going on with the Mandalorians is a lot more interesting than, um, at least to me, than what's going on with um, Darth Null. I mean, it, it was kind of a twist that she was, she used to be a Jedi. And Mandalorians. Can't go wrong with Mandalorians. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Somebody told me that, um, a platoon of Mandalorians were gonna have our back. I'll be happy. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Yeah, like, you legitimately cannot go wrong with Mandalorians. Because they are, if not the most effective military, they are pretty darn close. I don't know if you guys have been able to watch The Mandalorian, but in Season 3, you get to see how effective a group of Mandalorians can be. I mean, you saw some of that with the clone troopers. Are they the Ark Troopers? I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't really impressed with the Commandos. Alright, one of you guys got something I need. So, let's do this. Oh! I got slapped. I didn't appreciate that. No, somebody told me I wasn't um, playing this class to its full capabilities. And I don't know how I feel about that. Now, I do admit that there is 
still a lot about this game that I could learn. But uh, I don't think I'm doing too bad. Okay. Like I said, one of you guys has what I need. So. Now, I actually heard um, an interesting take on um, how Clan Fett, what the clan that Boba Fett and Jango Fett are from, how um, one of their ancestors almost established a Mandalorian dynasty that would have put the empire to shame well would have been more ruthless in the empire let me let me rephrase so i definitely thought that was interesting all right cool we got we got the access card. All right, so let's go ahead and start knocking people out. Incoming. Yeah, I actually found out that um, the descendant was the only one really that could um, match Revan and his tactical sense so I found that to be um, I thought that was pretty interesting to be perfectly honest and because Reverend's not weak in any regard what are you doing? hey brother it's good. What you doing? I'm doing the showdown um, showdown wake and like I don't mind like doing flashpoints in between it or if yeah, you yeah, want to I'll, I'll, I'll group with you I'm leveling a uh, my gear up my mercenary. I'm leveling someone in RSF ah okay Sorry, it, it took longer than I expected I had to post for applications for officer positions next time ah okay um I'll, I'll so the Gotcha. So the plan for tonight, tonight's stream, is to do showdown and then um, showdown wake on Runic, um, veteran uprising, and flashpoints. I don't think the tune I'm working on is high enough level for uprisings. I might have to hop on another tune. Okay. Um, yeah, just let me know. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he was going to be on tonight, so that's why, um... I have actually been playing a good bit of Star Wars Galaxies lately. Ooh, I haven't heard that game in a while. Yeah, we have a, uh... Oh, and if you would like, I'm also going to do some, um, runic, um, uh, runic dailies. I've already done the dailies on my Jedi. Ah. Okay. I'm trying to grind Uh, do you have another character you can do it on, or is that it? Not on the top side. Okay. Well, I believe you can still help me um, in the dailies. You'll be able to see them anyway. Where I'm going and everything. 
because I got the rep booster on and um because I already knocked out uh before the stream CZ198 I knocked out that one and um the black yeah, hole I'm the level 44 merc. yeah I'm the level 44 merc in the guild uh, okay Yeah, I'm actually going to um, go look at, hopefully, go look at houses this weekend. As I'm still trying okay. to buy a house. Because we gotta be moved out of this place um, before November. Because I cannot stand my neighbors, they're driving me crazy. How am I racist? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just... I'm talking shit, you know this. Oh, medic. Guys, always make sure you kill the medic first. Or if you just do enough DPS, then I'll have to worry about the medic. Well, not everybody can be DPS heavy like some, okay? Dude, I hit... Like, I was playing on my... Uh, Like I said, I must be doing something wrong with my character because I do not hit that hard. What? Can you screenshot your ability tree and send it to me? Yeah, I can do that for you. Ah, uh, I went the wrong way. I'll go log on my Vanguard and tell you what I'm taking. Yeah, I'm not sure how long um, Showdown Wake is going to take. It's long. It, it's it's a couple hours. Oh, really? Okay, then yeah, we'll probably be doing flashpoints in between. Yeah, because I'm not I'm not trying to do um, the entire stream with just this one thing. Now, guys, when we hit um, a thousand followers, I will do a eight hour stream. And then that's something that we could possibly do. What the hell is my power today? Blasted machine. Hurry up and get those pressure valves working again, damn it. Kurt's oh, waiting on us. What's the rush, Arla? You've got us tearing up water stations got all and my power conduits, left well. and right. Now you want us to fix them? Stop! Someone's here. Step forward, whoever you are. You got nice swords. <laughs> hey, it's Pat. What are you doing back here? Oh, talking about the Get Mandalorian on that. Yeah. Let's bring her a trophy. He'll yeah, there, uh, there's a lot of people on Reddit asking about that. Um, You said there's a lot of people on Reddit asking about what? Uh, I was trying to figure out why I wasn't able to um, attack her, but she's she's kicking my butt right now. Yeah, huh. Hey, Source Knight, how, how you been, brother? It's been a minute. So you're doing good. The 23. The 23 spec, what do you take? Hey, hold on one second. I can tell you after this fight. Okay. Look out. 
Yesterday he did dailies in most recent areas. Oh my god, I hate that area. He did, um, you did dailies where? Oh, Runic, yeah, I haven't, I actually haven't done any of the, um, Runic dailies yet. I'm trying to find some people to yep. do them with me. I, I would do them, but I've already done them on my Jedi end of the day, and I apologize. Yeah, I did those this morning, I do apologize. Um, no one you were gonna run, uh, Uprisings later, though, weren't you? Yeah, I'm still gonna do Uprisings. Okay, I'll do an Uprising with you before I, uh, try and see Yeah, I can see why he'd be mad about that, I guess. But at the same time, like, he wasn't around to tell you how to do it, really. Yeah. And see, all my officer so, Sith side were already picked, so it's all, it's all, it is what it is. He wasn't upset to, or anything. You want me to put an officer application just in case, just to kind of make him yeah, happy? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's sent on PvP. Yeah, I did see that the, um... I did see that the Runic one has a lot of missions to do compared to other ones. They're pretty quick though is the thing. If you know where to go, like I can knock out Runic in like an hour. Yeah, but see I don't know where to go, so it would probably take me a while. Yeah, on your Vanguard I'm gonna try to help your DPS right now. Okay. You're level twenty three, what do you take? Uh, hold on, I'm in a cutscene. Oh, you're in a cutscene still? Okay. I had to run into so much crap. It was annoying. That's all good. Oh, I, you was on your Merc. Okay. I'm on my, I'm on my bounty hunter, my Vanguard. <laughs> oh, guys, is any of y'all a tank? Because I've been trying to do uh, school up for a um, veteran uprising, and I can't get anybody. I'll tank. I'll get on my power tech and tank. I love Jesus. that tank. I like my non more. It's more chill. Yeah, I think Manon, Manon is a good one. So is Osis. I really do like Osis. Okay. What am I forgetting? Let me pass this. Oh yeah, Osis. I did it. It was not bad. Yeah, I didn't know that there was two like um, bosses on that planet that you need like an eight-man team. No, I think you can do it with a four-man team. I, I've done it with a four-man team. You need a tank, a healer, and two DPSs. I know what boss you're talking about. Yeah. All right, so gotcha, yeah, I'm out of the cutscene, and you said. All right, what do you, what do you take for twenty-three? Uh, something blade. Serrated blade, okay. Yeah. And then you take storm at mm -hmm. twenty-seven. Yeah. What do you take at thirty-nine? Thirty-nine. I have superheated cells. See, I take zone uh, kill zone. Okay, I just changed it. Uh, I got lucky in Runet Manon. I got someone to do the heroics fast. Both heroic four is just. Did them with two man teams. Yeah, I mean, most heroics are doable with a um, small uh, majority of the time, a good team. Okay, um, so what else did you say? What do you take at 43? Uh, War Machine. 
see, I take advanced infantry tactics. Um, that lets you pop Balmoran Arms, I think is what it's called. Mm -hmm. Balmoran Advanced Weaponry, and you get that 5 stacks of power yield, uh, which just increases your armor and your damage done by 2%. In addition, cell versus critical chance is increased by 100%. And cell versus your big hitter. Oh, okay. So popping that more often is nice. Gotcha. Uh, what, what did you take at 51? Uh, 51, I have armor. electric shield. See, I took uh, parabolic cells. And just It's just if you get stunned or stuff, you get more energy back. Uh, you mean the combat stem? Yeah. Okay. And when you get stunned, you do 10% more, more damage. Gotcha. Um, this next one, it really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I always take frontline defense because it, it lowers your interrupt cooldown. Okay, yeah, I got that one. There was one where um, ads did not stop coming, lol. That was one a bit stressing. Are you talking about the one on Osis? Because I know that um, first you fight the Imperials and then you fight the Bugs. And I learned that there is no way for me to beat that unless I have a three-man team. Oh, I don't know which one you're talking about. Um, 68, it really doesn't matter. I like the extra heals from the shoulder cannon. So I take guard cannon. Um, let me see. And Oh, I, I take cryo grenade because I need that stun. See, it, the stun or heals, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. This this row really doesn't hold the line would be would be my second choice just because it prevents you from being stunned. Okay. And then the top one, it it really doesn't matter either. Like one st one specific. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, so getting back to doing oh no. Shadow in the wake is what we're doing. So let's go ahead and get started. That was quick. You certainly live up to your lofty reputation. Shay is lucky to count you among her supporters. Interesting. I wasn't aware that Shay could inspire such loyalty. I've always said that Shay's biggest strength is the people she surrounds herself with. You continue to prove me right. Let's see what you found out there. Looks like the hidden chain built their infrastructure on the back of an old mining operation. A really unlucky mining operation. Hedda had everything she could ever need already waiting for her. Water, power generators, digging equipment. But it looks like you took out the last of it. Would have been nice for us. But hey, at least we know the traders can't use it again. Find anything else interesting? Yeah. Other than the prisoner I didn't ask you to bring back here? I know her. She'd die before talking to us. And now, I've got one more mouth to feed. At least now we know who drew the short straw when Hedda asked people to stay behind. Sounds like the stragglers are Clan Harangir. They're old money, with an even older name. Clan mm. Harangir claims they're descended from Cad Harangir, an old Mandalorian god of destruction. Decades of that kind of notoriety, power and credits have given them quite the inflated self-image. They consider it an insult if you don't recognize their prestigious history. They consider it a threat if you don't give them the respect they demand. Must be why they switched sides. Shay didn't kiss their boots like the other clan leaders did. <laughs> hey Odin, how you doing bro? here. Shay's never been one to coddle such fragile personalities. It's only a matter of time before some of the more entitled 
clans went the way of the hidden I'm good just enjoying my day off oh nice bro would agree to cleaning up Hedda's mess they think an order like that was below them well they must be after something else something Hedda might not even know about yeah. This particular area we've been circling for a while. Um, Full just been chilling um since I got home from work today. But I'll keep looking through the data files to um, see if there's something I'm missing. Some folks upset at my wife, so I wasn't all too happy about that, but other than that, everything else seems to be going well. Odin, you played this game, right? Let's see, I need to collect mining data. Yeah. I do, yeah. I'm sorry to hear about the situation with the wife. I do, yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh you're more than welcome to come join me in game, bro, if you want. Calm still acting up. Typical. Keep an eye on the scanner. There's always something going on. Oh, uh, you usually play imp. I, I will admit that the imp side does have more um more fun <laughs> as far as their choices go. Uh next Wednesday I won't be playing my bounty hunter, so if you want to join me then that'd be cool. I, I do appreciate you um about the wife comment though. I do appreciate it. Yeah, I like playing my Mando. Yeah, I think Mando Mandalorians are some of the most interesting um people in Star Wars. I just like finding out about different clans to be honest. Ah, I can't reach you. There we go. Not a problem, bro. We're all here to uplift one another. Yeah, and that's honestly one of the things I like about, um, like about the gaming community is that everybody normally is good about helping each other. So that's one of the things I personally like, but not everybody is always a. Mm, not everybody's always good about that, but it is what it is. I still want to say the Imperial Agent is the most busted class in this game, though. Oh, Odin, speaking of which, did you hear about the new Mandalorian, um, the next Mandalorian season? That season, um, four has been canceled, and instead of doing a season four, they're going to do a Mandalorian movie now. Which, to be pr honest, I'm not sure how I feel about that, because... I kind of like them doing it um, as episodes, but I could I can understand why they why they're choosing to do it that way. I just wish they kept it to the same format.
Let's see. Yeah, I heard something about that, but really dived in to figure if it's true or not. Um, I don't know, but it's from one of the Star Wars channels that I watch, so I'm not 100% sure if that's the case. If it is, um, like I said, not going to be all too um, happy about it. If it's not um, cool, like. I also heard that um, the actor that plays Boba Fett in, um, in Star Wars was not happy about, um, really wanted to show up in the Mandalorian fight for Mandalore. Which, I mean, I, I can understand that. Like, Boba Fett's a Mandalorian too, so it, it would make sense for that type of showdown. Yeah, but before I forget, guys, I am going to be um, gone for two weeks because I got reserve training. So you guys aren't going to be seeing me stream for a little while. But that's why I'm doing three streams this week, and I'm going to try to do three streams again next week. Because you guys deserve as much content as I can get out to y'all. To be perfectly honest, I honestly don't feel like my um, trooper does enough damage. I wish my trooper did more damage, but it is what it is. But I can tell you guys one thing I am really excited about. Baldur's Gate 3 um, fully releases tomorrow. So I am looking forward to that. I have been waiting and counting down the time for this game to come out. So I don't know if anybody else is looking forward to playing that game, but it's four person co-op. Okay. Hey, Source Knight, how you been? Don't have time for pleasantries. I need you back out there now. Like I said, something we don't have a lot of time to discuss. Yeah, bro, that's true. Message. My wife Mr. is. Matt. I brought her. It all comes back to one thing. They came you know what a several is? hours ago. Let's see. My wife is. I bought. She played it while it's been in beta. Yeah, I've been playing it too, bro. Um, I think I have like 14, 14 more hours before I can um, download the full release. Did. Did you see they told people to delete saves then uninstall the game? Oh, I didn't do that. I just delete uninstalled the game. <laughs> um, I, I can fix that though. Basilisk war droids are like nothing else. We can ride them, form bonds with them. They're like beasts, but better. They can carry mines, cannons, missile launchers, plasma generators. They're dangerously beautiful. All the data files you took from the Haranzo traders paint a very clear picture. Okay, so there, I'm thinking that we all the do a campaign the together. Could be the ore under Runic's That's what I'm thinking. For building the droids. Could be something else. One of the schematics you brought me showed a clear path through their tunnel systems. 
I sent some people to scout the tunnels. Thought maybe they could find something that would tell us for sure what the Harangiers have been up to. They never came back. Also, delete mods. I'm guessing through the testing, they noticed that these things c cause this error. See, I never downloaded any mods, but my game was always saying that I had um, mods installed, so I never understood that. I keep telling myself that. I tried raising them on palms. I get nothing but silence back. I know this place isn't exactly easy to get around, not to mention all the wildlife that's riled up by us being here. But none of that should be a problem for my people. They're Mandalorians. Someone got to them. I see. Game's going to be 122 gigabytes. Yeah, I heard about that. That's not that's not too bad as far as a game file goes. And um, do you guys know what uh, classes and races y'all going to pick? You can handle that on your own, right? Even with all the data you brought me, there are still a lot of hiding places out there. I'll stay back and try to pinpoint where the traitors might be holed up. But you can start looking where I last heard from my soldiers. I'll send you the coordinates. And just... If you can't help them, make sure Clan Harangir pays. Yeah, I can... I can... I can understand where she's coming from, though. Like, you took... You took my people? Yeah, we're, we're about to scrap now. Yeah, I could I could definitely understand that. Uh as far as Barter's Gate three goes, I'm looking forward to playing a Ranger Knight. Maybe Dragonborn and Tiefling Monk. I don't know. Like I heard the monk isn't um that good as opposed to the other classes, so But then again I haven't had a chance to test that out. Oh no, I was talking about people that actually got to um, play with the class. I heard that it wasn't um, that that strong, but like I said, I, I don't know. I'm hoping for, hoping for versatility, but like I said, I'm looking forward to playing the Ranger Knight and being a maniac, just jumping around and... Um, Hong Kong fooling people. Are you gonna try it? Yeah, if you guys want, we should definitely get a game going with the viewers. Like, everybody joins up for a party. I got one guy that says he'll play with me. I'm going to stream Baldur's Gate 3 on Friday. Friday night. Um, for about two hours. So, if you guys want to come join us, you're more than welcome to. Like I said, this this is going to be so much fun also want to make a warlock now I don't have most much experience with the warlock I mainly um, mainly the only experience I have is from using will and uh, I am looking forward to the his redesign for when the game launches have a good long ways so what do you guys think you guys think that would be a um a 
a interesting time playing it. Oh, what um, what companions are you guys looking to use? And is anybody looking forward to playing with being the Dark Urge? Is anybody going to be playing? What playthrough are you guys going to do? You guys going to do um, good, evil, neutral? Like, what what are you guys planning? Time to go rescue these soldiers. Never leave a man behind, right? I would say that, yeah, I, I kind of have to agree with it. Um, like the wildlife shouldn't be an issue for Mandalorian. So something else had, had probably got to them. If I'm around the day you will play, I can join for sure. Okay, cool. Alright guys, I do have a question about Baldur's Gate 3 though. Oh yeah, I'm also interested interested in Druids just for the wild shape. Oh, <laughs> oh, I heard that you could turn into an owlbear um, with a Druid. So I think that's kind of cool. Wait, there's Salvage. You got to, um, I think the Druid is going to be pretty, a pretty powerful class. Now, I am looking forward to testing with a Paladin again, but I think I want to do Vengeful Paladin instead of, um, Ancient. I think I want to do, um, I think I want to try out Ventral. I already tried out Oathbreaker. I didn't. I didn't really like that one all too much. As for companions, you got me there because I don't know who they are. I did not play early assets. All I know is from Pacific stuff I looked up. Oh, okay. It looks like there's a blade in his neck. I see. Where are the others? Engaging hostile. Now when it comes to certain companions, I will say that um, it does look like some of them, some of them could betray you, just based off of their um, interaction. But I don't know. Uh, 
I would end their lives if they betray me. <laughs> I know, bro. That's that's normally how it goes. Like me personally, um, because just choices. Um, that is what Kunari Kun got in Swotor. Hey, it be like that. It, it does not pay you to betray your friends, especially family. Nothing is more sacred than family. Now, I definitely would say I have a tendency to kill Lazel um, in almost every encounter. It's not because I don't like her, it's because she gives me that, um, like, she definitely, she kind of rubs me the wrong way. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, she definitely kind of rubs me the wrong way. But so far, our streaming, the streaming lineup this week is, um, let's see, we're streaming from 9 to 12 tonight, Friday we're streaming from 9 to 11, and Saturday we're going to stream from 10 to 11. So, for the most part, all our streams are going to be at night. So, as many do to work but I've totally forgotten Vanguard's was a close-up fighting type of class yeah it makes me happy well I take that back so the Vanguard with the Vanguard I like being up in your face and still yeah the more like mid to close range but um, there's, there's some fights that I wish I was a mid to long range just for survivability sake. Okay. Where do I need to go? Oh yeah, that would definitely kill me. I had to fight too many enemies while trying to get by for this specific word that you are, I freaking wish I was stealth. Oh yeah, being having a stealth class right now would be amazing. Because um, this, well, this is my first time on this planet, so I can't really say much on it other than the fact that um, it's definitely interesting. Yeah, everybody gets done. They filled this one out well. You you don't really get much distance while fighting something. Yeah, okay, so from what I've seen, that is true. Let's see. I'm trying to think how do I get to where I need to go. Looks like I have to run this way. 
Now, see, in real life, you would never get me on this. I would never um, want to be on this for the simple fact that I don't do heights. Plus, I wish I had the um, commando's ability to blow people away when they when they're too close, because I definitely would have blown this guy off the side. Yo, night night. That would be fun to see. <laughs> yeah, man. It's 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 the little things in life that bring you the most joy. It definitely is. Odin, are you still here, bro? Let's see. Okay, that looks like a Sith class right there. Is yep, Empire player. If this was PVE right now, I probably would have. Um, I definitely probably would have tried to um, attack him since he was already in combat. But considering that it's not, hell, right, you jerks. I've been playing Dragon Ball Universe 2, just killing time. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. That was one of the few Dragon Ball Z games that I did not manage to beat. And to this day, I still feel kind of salty about that. I don't know mod that does change some of the game, add moves, stages, characters, etc. Oh, okay. Alright, where do I need to go now? Transmit to recover data. Traders are everywhere. Is there anything useful? Did you click the helmet on the floor? Um, it already disappeared. I thought that was a Lord, a Jot, Low Audric. Now I am. Now I am on the lookout for those. Okay, so we need to get down there without um, dying, preferably. Uh, okay, we can do this. Screw you. Okay, as long as they don't have a hook move, I'm good. I'm golden. I'm golden. Oh, that took a lot of health, but I'm still good. As long as I don't have to fight nobody. Okay. So definitely gonna yeah. heal. Alright, let's 
do this. I'm gonna take this. So, going back to Baldur's Gate 3, guys, how long do y'all think it's going to take um, to beat it? Ow. Down. Uh, at least forty to fifty hours. Um, so me personally, I think it's gonna take longer than that. Um, I think if you do all the content, um, do all the quests and everything, I think it has the potential to be like The Witcher Three. Um, with how long that game was. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Thank you. If you go for completion, then it's always way more. Yes. See, I already know, like, a game... Like Baldur's Gate 3, there's always gonna be something new that you may have missed in the first time you played the game. So, knowing that, I I am definitely tending to get do as much as humanly possible. Yep. If you want to take him out, that's cool. See if you go and do every single class along with doing everything the first class at least then boy that's a long game for sure. <laughs> yeah. And that's gonna be the that's kinda the best part. Like I don't I don't wanna just um blitz the game. I want to enjoy the story and the lore. that like I think the dark or the dark urge is gonna be one of the last ones that I do because the first the first one I do I want to um, I want to definitely experience it with a custom character as far as um, other characters and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say other characters like other um... okay 
Yeah. So I'm gonna do a custom playthrough first, and then probably I'm going to. Um, let's see. I'm definitely gonna play as Will because I want to know more about his backstory. Let's see. The Vanco hits hard, man, with those 51 quits at times too. Yeah, I just wish, um, I just wish I quit more. It would make, um, hot oh jeez. Going through some of these people a lot easier. Like, um, like my buddy on here that plays a Jedi. Um, the how quickly he's able to deal with a mob of enemies is insane, and it just frustrates me because I don't really get a chance really to do anything. Like, is your highest level character a Mandalorian? Them arguments for level 80 are too expensive, though, to get that crit up. Yeah, that's true. Well, I won't say that it's hard to make money in this game. It's definitely, um... The way the prices is for some of... The augmentations and gear is they definitely don't make it easy yeah you you definitely have to put time in Ow. Right, sit down see this guy here he has a big blaster so I think he's trying to overcompensate for something I had a few characters at level 80 geared up. I think the bounty hunter Merc, I would see like 65k quit. That's still not bad for um, crit. Like it's, it's been a while since I played Star Wars. So it's taken me um, a little bit longer than I would like to admit to... Um, remember where certain how certain things work but I never geared up with level 80 arguments not rich enough <laughs> I feel you bro like um, the arguments definitely aren't cheap like I'm doing the Z quest to um, oh wow that's a lot of people Okay. Yeah, I better just go ahead and um oh, great. I just gotta pick them off one at a time. Yeah, some, well, definitely some of these NPCs definitely have um, more health than I think they should, but. Who am I to say that?
Oh yeah. I need to get this before there we go. Definitely got that. So I definitely think we're gonna be able to finish this area. Oh, well, not just this area, but finish doing the story for this one. Oh, darn it! Oh, wow. Yep, I am taking a bunch of damage. You know, sometimes when I'm playing, I act like I can hear my character's heartbeat. Okay, you're the... Ah, you got me. This area you are on is where I got... Got nasty. It's basically like a heroic area. Yeah. Yeah, that's what um, I'm learning. So, definitely feel like I should have a um, human partner with me. Oh, you said you died here too? Okay, you know what? That that makes me feel better. Hey. Who's who's the all right. You gotta go. Yeah, I always gotta make sure I grab my loot. Um, I still haven't done the dailies for this area. <clears throat> and I definitely, um, from what I'm seeing, I definitely want to do this with, um, with a person. Oh, what's this? Emperor Casino Chip. Okay. I don't know what to use that for, but alright. That is a nightlife event. Oh, okay. You know... For as long as I've had this game, I don't think I've ever done any of the nightlife stuff. Oh, gambling on Nostradamus. That's probably why I've never done it then. I'm not a big 
big gambler. Plus, I hear some of my guildmates told me, um, they be telling me about how they do the gambling and how much, how much cartel, well, not cartel, but how much money they be, um, credits they be losing. Yeah, I'm good. Alright, let's do this. You can get two companions through it. One with luck and another with a golden certificate you get from it. Oh, okay. Got you. You can gamble without ever using any money. Oh, really? Then I might check it out then. You see, if you get like twelve to fifteen of them to of them emperor tokens, you'll get at least like five hundred to other than needs to gamble. Oh, okay. Got you. And though those five hundred you get more emperor you can repeat it for a few hours. Got you. A Mandalorian should know how valuable it is to have something like that. But that's not good enough for Kerr Harangir. He's found others and brought them here, where no one else can see what he's doing. Even his precious field marshal. He's stripping parts, metal, whatever he can from the weaker droids. He experiments on them, and their suffering means nothing, as long as he can make the others more powerful. We tried to get to the ones in that other room, but something's wrong with the door. Wasn't enough power to get it open. We need to get back to Lane. She should know what's going on. Uh, that's terrible. There. Here. What is that? Uh, what's what's that thing? What's this thing called? Um, we fought it on. Um, for one of these on um uh, I can't I can't think of the name <clears throat> McCab thank you bro I appreciate it yeah I could I could not think of the name of that one I just took five droids yeah I noticed that nobody likes doing the McCab dailies. That is one thing that I have noticed.
You said you said you only catch new players there. Oh, that that makes sense. I'm on it, sir. Yeah, I can't grab it. Ah, crap it all. Oh, people are doing it for Galactic Season. Yeah, that too. That makes sense too. Uh, do I want to use this? I really don't use it. Mm. Yeah, but I don't feel like um, dying again. Okay, that's why these guys hits are. I got silver, a gold, and um, at a silver and two gold. That's why it was giving me so much trouble. Yeah, suck on lightning. I mean, me personally, I think um, it's hard to find good trooper armor in this game. Like, I think the um, armor I'm wearing right now was a gift from one of my guild mates. Yeah, that's why it gets nasty as hell. I only seen them. Wait, hold on. I gotta do that in just a second. Yeah, that's why it gets nasty as hell. I only see them do that many gold and silver together on Heroic 4. Yeah. Agreed. Um, so them putting it on this <laughs> and this was not exactly my idea of fun. Uh, please don't tell me that's another group. Yep. You know what? I'm getting past you. I don't care. I'm making it. Yeah, suck on that. Well, I will say they definitely didn't want to make this easy on anybody. Now, I, I will say I would like to see the conclusion of the Mandalorian arc as, f as well as the situation with Malgus. I am looking forward to seeing that conclude. So, if they could give me that, I would be very happy. Okay, so yeah, see, you're both silvers, so that's not gonna work. Alright, there we go.
of right. Let's just go with that. And here we go again. All I'm trying to do is just get to the door. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to the exit. These these gold people always take me the longest skill. Like it's rather annoying. Yeah, take a buff stock to the face. Can I get past you without triggering them? Nope. Yep. Knew I hoped for too much. about to kill my companion. Okay, I definitely need to do something about some of this fire. And hey, cover me while I move. <laughs> we got you covered. I read the map thing wrong and the thing won't release into midnight. Oh. Um, what region are you in? I know it doesn't release until it's actually 10 a.m. my time. Oh. When it releases. Got you. Yeah, it releases at 11 a.m. But I probably won't get a chance to download it until like. Um, 5.36, so I doubt that I'll be playing it any time that, um, on release day, because I know my fiancé wants to, um, spend some time together. I mean, it's especially how her, um, so-called friends did her today, um, I, I definitely want to make sure that, um, I'm there. Yay, another trooper. Oh, I like his armor. His armor looks nice. All right. I need to get back to the elevator. So what, Source tonight, what are you going to do to kill the time, brother? So the, does, do we have to down, um, remove our save files from the early access uh, for the new game? Or is that just like optional?
the preparing to launch news thing they released said to remove them okay okay then I will make sure to do that because the last thing I want is to have problems when I can actually play the full game All right, so I'll re-download it tonight just to do that. You ready? We should move out soon. My comms got frazzled coming through that storm. Ooh. I bet you can delete them without having to reinstall the... <clears throat> just gotta find the save location. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look after the stream tonight made it back along with everyone else heard something interesting from one of my people there were basilisk droids in that warehouse you let them die <sighs> there's always a way if you want it badly enough if my soldiers would have died, it would have been an honorable death. They would have been celebrated. They know this. There are already so few of those droids left. To know that we could have saved some of them. Forget about it. Out of all of Hedda's bootlickers, I can't believe Kur Harangir is the one you ran into. Yeah, that's him. He's the sorry Hutun that calls himself Clan Harangir's leader. He does whatever he wants, no matter how dishonorable. And his name and his money pay for everyone to ignore it. No one's stopping whatever twisted things he's doing to those basilisk droids. No one cares that he's putting an end to something so irreplaceable. <sighs> no more. Got some sensors I've been tinkering with. The range on them is far enough for what we need. You get these set up. And if anything leaves this planet carrying so much as a whiff of cursed stench, we'll know where. Whatever else happens here, I'm putting Kerr Harangir in the ground. All right, she's mad. Okay, let's see. Early access saves and player profiles aren't compatible with the release version of Baldur's Gate 3. Leaving them in your save folders in some fair cases causes issue. Note, simply deleting the game save for may create conflict with either Steam Cloud or Larian Cloud redownloading or redownloading the save file that's what it says okay so I will definitely do that tonight before <coughs> yeah before anything else happens I will definitely take care of that tonight because I want to be good to go a lot of tunnels to hide in it's going to take a while to dig them out. Yeah, I definitely want to be good to go for, um... Stay focused on the task at hand. Launch. Terracora, Terracora. Alright, they're both taking me to the same place. Ready for departure. I also want to make sure that Twist was linked to Larian account so I could grab the Twist drops. Wait, there's Twist drops? I didn't know there was Twist drops. Yeah, when the game launches. Oh, okay. So that's another thing that I need to do. been watching two hours okay got you all right so teleport all right sensor peacons okay Wait, the drops don't, you can't do drops until the game fully comes out though, right? Uh, this is going to be annoying. It 
says it'll start at 9 a.m. P. Oh, Pacific. No, P. PDT. My right, PDT is. Um, that's not Pacific Standard Time. Um, Pacific Daylight Saving Time. Got gotcha. you. Two hour, oh, it's two hours behind the EST. Got you. Gotta make sure I get my scrap, man. I like to craft stuff. So it starts that early. It means streamers most likely will have access a few hours earlier than us. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate. But that's just one, one more step for us. So uh, I'll, I'll take it. Not gonna get me, buddy. Yeah, I, I mean, at least the people getting um, access before us, I can finally see what a lot of people are going to be playing. So that's one good thing that comes out of it. Uh, I could definitely ask my wife to pull up somebody's stream while I'm at work. So that might help with that, with the drops. But uh, we still see. Okay, where do I need to go? Went the wrong way. I bet I'm gonna see a lot of people playing um now if somebody's doing the dark urge one I am not gonna watch that because I want that to be a complete surprise to me when I go to do that one okay where's the where's the beacon Let's just scare that. And he just wants to fly in the air. That's cool. Right. OK. 
Okay. I just I just put a stream on mute the tab so it still counts. I don't get spoilers. Just leave it there for two hours so I can get a drop. A. <laughs> hey, it be like that though. Okay, where's the dang um? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, where is the, um, okay, so it's not down there. All right, it's starting to get a little, starting to get a little annoyed. Where is the, um, receiver? And there's nothing above me. So I'm not I'm not sure. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Yeah, I feel you on that. <clears throat> but I feel like um, I'm not going to get any spoilers because I've seen everything up until the near fight. But once once they get past that, then no, I'm not watching any more streams. <laughs> because um, I don't want any spoilers. I want to experience it myself. But I definitely do like that they confirmed who all the um, who all the companions are for for the game. So I'm digging that right now. Oh, darn it! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. I got three more, three more beacons to place. All right, what's the beacon for here? Got you. Oh, jeez, did not mean to do that. But nah, Source and I, I, I definitely understand that, bro. Ready for departure. Let's see. Enjoy your stay. Plus, honestly, I haven't decided um, how I want to. I know my first playthrough is going to be custom character. My second playthrough will probably be one of the companion characters. 
and I don't know after that. I haven't decided yet. Okay, so let's see. Alright, and just one more. And then we be golden. No, it says I have guildmates on right now, but I'm not gonna bother anybody. Oh crap. How far can I get? How far can I get? Not that far. Oh no, I'm still going. I'm still going. I'm gonna make it. I made it. Uh, you're not gonna stop me, brother. I made it. Yeah. Plus, based off the campaigns that I did see, the only one. Okay, so the only one so far I take a personal preference against is Lizelle. Um, like I said, she just rubs me the wrong way. Okay, let's go ahead and um, get this. Do this. We've been watching the sky since Kerr Herenia was stupid enough to show his face. To you, of all people. Nothing belonging to the traitors has left the planet's surface. Their cargo ships, their personal shuttles, nothing. He knows we're after him, but he's too arrogant to even make a run for it. He's still here. And that's the last mistake he'll ever make. We do things same as last time. I'll guide you and you hunt them down. Don't lecture me on things you don't understand. I'm... I need... So sick. How do I say this? I can't face Kerr. Not because I'm afraid or reluctant. I am angry. I am vengeful. I have blazing hot rage boiling under my skin. Years ago, Kerr Herangir challenged my brother to a duel. Or some perceived slight against his famous name. Kerr used nothing but underhanded tricks. Like he does with everything else. There was no honor in the way he fought. He killed my brother, and no one called out Kerr's deception. Typical for a Herangir. When I think of Kerr's self-righteous smirking, while my brother lay dead, robbed of his good name, I can't see straight. My hate for Kerr is like thick black smoke. I can't fight him if I can't see through it. Not for me. For my brother. For Rentier. Thank you. I have some ideas where that snake might be hiding. Just need you to go and see which of my hunters is right. There can't be much left for Kerr to hide behind now. You've put down most of his lackeys. And... You've destroyed most of what could have made his stay comfortable. Hope Kerr has enjoyed his little visit to Runic. It's about to become indefinite. Hmm. Oh yeah. Like I like I said earlier in the stream, guys, nothing's more important than family. And um if he if he took one of my family members from me, best believe I'm coming at you real I'm gonna come after you. There's, um.
Yeah. Yeah, I, I stand by that. Okay. Oh, this is lower objective. Okay, cool. Okay. Let's see. We are gonna find this guy. Like, um... My my wife asked me today if um, well she asked me as a hypothetical question. She said um, if I had, if I got a phone call that um, somebody broke into the house and um, um, beat her so bad that she was brain dead. I don't. I told her, like, dead serious. I would, I would go after that person. If I didn't have kids to worry about, I would go after them. I wonder if having say, Shay through all of this, if she has any conversations with her cousin. I don't know. That is, that is a good question, though. That is a very good question. Because um, back in this time frame, Clan Vizla, Clan, yeah, Shay's clan is pretty strong. But during the Clone Wars, they, um, not so much. Plus, one thing that I've learned is that a united Mandalorian people, that's, um, you're, you're not really getting past that. simple enough. Now I do, all right, so I know this guy, he's gonna die. Like there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. 
that's more than likely how this is going to um, to end. <clears throat> so I'm not really concerned about that. I want to know, do we do anything with the basilisk droids that we do find? So I am, I'm curious about that. There's something I want to know. scan. Alright, that's too easy. I have to go through here, don't I? Yep. I remember when I did that move and it used to kill the people. Now, not so much. I don't know, like when it, well, when it comes to Shay, she's just like really, I want to say, um, she's obsessed with finding Hedda, so I don't know if she really Hedda, has, I think we're on the right track now. she really has anybody she's like close to, even though, um, the girl that we're talking to right now is a cousin ow, is a cousin to um, Shay I don't I don't think she would probably talk to her other than giving her um, giving her orders like everybody else See, that's what I was talking about when it comes to the dang um, Imperial Sniper. They got that one, um, <clears throat> that one move that clears the room and it does so much damage. Okay, I did not think it was going to take us um, this long to finish. Uh, this, but, oh well. I didn't like Shay as much after this story. It seems like she just wants she would even go against you if she has to. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can I can honestly say that too. I don't really like um, Shay's story so much in this. Well, look who it is. What 
a surprise. For all I've heard about you, you're not very bright. Giving me this kind of head start was foolish. With all that time, I was able to make a lot of explosives. Pretty impressive, considering what little material I had at my disposal. Look around. I left no surface untouched. And if you don't leave, A mythosaur doesn't concern itself with the opinion of a strill. Oh, I don't think you should do that. You're making a huge mistake! How dare you! Okay. I know um, she wanted me to kill him, but from what she told me about these, I, I uh, this is more important. There's there's always a chance to get vengeance, but today was not that day. There you are. Are you alright? You went dark on me, so I assumed the worst. When I couldn't reach you, I started feeling guilty for throwing you in the path of my problems. So I headed out to back you up. Well, yeah. How heartless do you think I am? Besides, Shay would have my head if something happened to you on my watch. But you're still in one piece. So are those basilisk droids I saw on the way in. I know you couldn't save the others. But even with these Besselik, it's a miracle. Can't think of any other word to describe this. Let's see, I don't like people who pose a threat. <laughs> LOL. If I had to take Shay out, I will. Oh, I thought the word was threat, not threat. <laughs> the plan. As for Kerr, I'll just have to be patient. For now, the fact that he's probably kicking himself for leaving these droids behind is good enough. What the? Look at it. I've never seen one so small. What the hell kind of experiments was Kerr doing? You know, one this size might be something you could handle. No promises. Not yet. Don't want to get your hopes up. Need to see if anything can be done first. Let me get this little one back to camp and see what I can do. We'll meet you there. <clears throat> so, uh, Bachelor's Joy is kind of like sentient. That's, that's what I'm kind of curious about. Uh, so are they sentient? Because cause that's kind of what I want to know. Because if they are, that's dope. 
but I'm just kind of curious. There's nothing in hills. Nothing else. Okay. And that should be it for this one. I think. Alright. So let's go back to camp. The maintenance network. There we go. Mandalorian encampment. Okay, I mean, honestly, that didn't take us too long. Yeah, get some forces for the. Okay.